So this is a little video I did. I did a little experiment and I installed a Mac Pro heat sink in a PC box and uh, took a gamble. I was doing some upgrades at work of some workstations we have and they're getting a little low, old. So I went on eBay and uh, bought the second processor for this dual, dual processor setup. So I ran into a problem. I had three of these workstations. So one I kind of cannibalized and took all the parts of it out of it and put it in another one. So I had a whole other workstation with no processors, no memory, nothing. So I went on eBay and spent like 40 bucks. And got a set of 5160 Xeons for like 15 bucks and got a little memory for another 15 bucks and I said, all right, now all I need is heat sinks. So what am I going to do? I was looking all around, and I couldn't find any affordable heat sinks for this computer. And I said, hey, maybe these Mac Pro heat sinks will work. They're the same socket. So I took a gamble, and I got the heat sinks and uh, put them in there, and they worked just fine. So you're going to have a couple of problems. You're going to have this CPU fan not detected. You're going to have that because, obviously, the Mac Pro heat sinks don't have a fan. But they work just fine. They keep your computer nice and cool. I'm probably going to update this video in a little while. Show you the temps I'm getting. I actually made this video as soon as I finished it because I was so excited. And those heat sinks just look really, really, really cool in that computer. But as you can see, the computer boots up just fine. It's not locking up. No BSODs or nothing like that. Yeah, we're going to use this computer for uh, encoding video. Not the best encoder in the world, but you know it still gets about... A six thousand or so on Geek Geekbench uh, Geek scores, so it's still a pretty good computer. We've had it for about six years, and I think we've got a money's worth out of it. So if you want to put those Mac Pro heat sinks in your uh, LGA 771 socket, you can do it.